Amen. Hallelujah. I'm really happy to be here. And uh, I was just uh, last time when David was there, I was asking him like, so how how is the midweek service in Coimbatore? Do like people unmute and talk? And David was like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. And I was like, okay, that sounds good because uh, Sridhika invited me, and I'm a youth, and uh, this is going to be very. All of us are going to discuss. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So. So my so message can you speak louder uh, yes can you hear me now oh okay sorry can you hear me now is it better okay. yeah so i just connected this midway so i didn't re- realize all right wow so praise god so i'd like to start off with a quote usually we start off with bible verses but uh, i'm just going to start with the quote and i want i want that quote to sink in uh, the quote goes like this so big doors swing on little hinges it's a quote by uh, w clement stone it's very interesting right so we use doors every day day in and day out when we enter the house when we go out uh, i don't know if we've been going out a lot but yeah when we go out and when we enter the bedroom the living room so we have doors everywhere right and uh, we don't think much about it like the doors just there and we don't think as to the workings of it maybe yeah, elsa might be wondering how doors open but <laughs> we don't so you know I'm going to just ask you to turn to a door wherever you are. I think Deepak Anna's video there's one door there. <laughs> so I'm just going to ask you to describe a door like the door nearest to you. So what do you observe from that door? Like what are the features? What are, what is there? Like I think you can lock. Imagine. Yes, there's the lock. It's made of other wood. Th- yes, it's made of wood. Other things like other properties. There's a handle. You can just yeah there are the handle the hinges other things like you know so there are so many things to a door we just don't notice it's there uh, so there's like the door is there's the handle there's the knob there's the hinge uh, the door is made of wood uh, some some doors are metal some doors are just laminate some are plastic uh, there's a keyhole there are latches some have meshes yeah so like we have so many different things in a door right so If I were to ask you what is the purpose of that door what would you say why is the door there for security yes to protect right so to protect whoever's inside to help you with privacy and and to give you privacy usually main door is there like it's made of solid wood the other doors inside are like fine just you know it's okay but it's basically to protect what's inside Amen. So, if we read in Matthew chapter six verse twenty-two, the verse goes like this: "The eye is the lamp of the body. If your vision is clear, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness?" So, like, when you think of it, what is there behind the doors in our house? Like. what is there behind the doors in our heart what is there inside is it like pain or anger uh, frustration sadness or is it like love joy peace patience the fruits of the holy spirit so is it something that we are dealing with or i just want you to think about it like what what you are having in your heart think of an answer and we'll come back to this later okay like think of an answer okay So the next point is we we saw the door right so the door is made of like different uh, like items so the door is made of like wood or like plastic or like pieces laminated together so when you look at the door how do you identify it like you you say like look at that brown door like go through that white door it's like based on its color or there's a wooden door there you can go through that wooden door like how do people identify you that just quickly came from the door to you but then how do people identify you like do you think about it like how do people look at you so do they look at you as a humble person as a person who is very patient who is loving or do they look like okay this person i should keep my distance because that person gets angry a lot or that person gets irritated or sometimes they'll be like oh this person is trustworthy i'll go talk to that person i'll i'll go share things to that person it's just something to think about like 
who do other people see us as right and also one more thing that is very important is how we see ourselves amen that is very important because how we see ourselves dictates how we respond to situations how we act in different situations whether we are insecure whether we are happy whether we are satisfied all of that is important now it's like it's very important all right so the next point is i just want to ask you something like who are you i want all of you to answer deepakanna like if i just were to ask you who are you so what would your answer be generally divya chichi yeah you my yeah. yeah i'm divya and like other things that you add to your name why is so <laughs> that's a nice identity <laughs> very safe identity <laughs> so others how how would you identify yourself i am a child of god that's a very very good response that's a beautiful response others johan deepakna pastor pastor i don't know if he identifies himself as i am the pastor of kaimuto church deepo's friend deep <laughs> again safe answer all the time <laughs> so it's very interesting right when we think of ourselves like who are we like we have so many introductions like hi i'm cyril i'm a marketing analyst in zoho so so many things that we introduce ourselves by like uh, by profession mostly teachers manager professor like now we just saw in the message right uh, from koshi and minu yeah so we just got i'm a child of god so was that the first thing that came to my mind i mean I, personally it didn't come to my mind at first so in many cases that didn't come to our mind and we don't think to answer that way but then i just want each of you to think like did that even come up as an answer because that's very important that is the core of our being like i am a child of god even i am a christian i belong to jesus christ that thought should be like really embedded into us like because knowing that we are christians knowing that we are in christ so many things changes insecurities are gone there's no insecurity amen now that is where the picture of identity comes in like like i'm not going to say like we need to rethink our identity but we of course need to think more like why didn't that answer come to my mind immediately or or am i aware of the fullness of what jesus christ has to offer me amen we need to just think about that like because the word of god says in matthew chapter 6 verse 21 where your treasure is there your heart will also be i think deepak anna's treasure is uh, deepu chet <laughs> just saying you know so where your treasure is there your heart will also be so if it's in god you will be secure amen Hallelujah so we should store our treasures in heaven and we should have a foundation in Jesus Christ amen in John 3:16 we read for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him may not perish but have eternal life that that verse just is so much it's just so beautiful it gives such a blessed assurance to each and every one of us that we will not perish but we have everlasting life in Jesus amen it's such a gift and even in jeremiah 31 verse 3 we read he has loved you with an everlasting love hallelujah i i was just blown away by the worship today uh, what divya chechi the worship was amazing and all the songs that she picked no it was like i wasn't sure what i was going to share today i was like just thinking god how what what should i share but then divya chechi's songs and even what uh, pastor shared during the communion all of that gave me so much confirmation that you know this is the word that god has today for each and every one of us hallelujah it's it's so beautiful and like realizing that we have a father in heaven who we can lean on any time our identity is in him makes so much of a difference when in in our day to day life in how we handle so many things like he gave his one and only son as an offering for our sake so so next time when you think of your identity even if you don't say it to people the first thought that should come to your mind is i am a child of god hallelujah 
so it's in him hallelujah so it so our identity is in him okay now i said that our identity is in him we all accept our identity is in him because we have faith in jesus but do you know what jesus has to say about you like do we all know what jesus has to say about me about uh, about divya chachi about deepakarna about johan like about david very specifically about pastor so to each and every one of us god has so many things to say and all of those are good things amen no bad thing hallelujah so i just want you all to open your bible and go to ephesians chapter 1 So before we read Ephesians chapter 1 I just I just want you to go through I'm going to give you all an exercise <laughs> very small exercise So it was just you know something I was thinking like who knows the most about a door the person who makes the door right like the person who make made that door the person who stuck the laminate on both sides the person who installed the lock that person knows so much about the door much more than we do in our case god knows so much more about us he knows every tiny detail hallelujah so i just want you to read ephesians chapter 1 from verse 1 to 10 okay from verse 1 to 10 i want you to read and identify what god has to say about you For example, if you see Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, we read that uh, praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. So, I am blessed. Like that. So I just want you to pick out verses like I am blessed. Just go through Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1 to 10. you can say it as you identify like each of you can unmute and say based on verse 5 he has predestined me and adopted me as a son through christ jesus amen i am adopted through christ jesus others Sorry for putting you in a hard spot. Homework and all we're doing. <laughs> He's chosen me to be holy and blameless in his sight. Amen. I am chosen, I am holy and I am blameless. Extra marks for Divya Chichi. She found 3 in one verse. Hallelujah. So it's you know these are things that we need to keep repeating over ourselves. We need to keep keep confessing over ourselves. Like when you think of holy would you think of yourself as holy like because the first thing that came to my mind was i am holy that didn't strike me it's it's not a reality in my mind like i feel like i have so much to do i feel like so much i i have to like really do to keep myself holy but god says i am holy and chosen and blameless hallelujah it's it's so beautiful so some of the things i noted down are i am blessed i am chosen i am holy I am blameless I am loved I am a child of God I am redeemed I am forgiven Hallelujah So many good things God has to say about us Sometimes we just let our thoughts go wild and sometimes we think like oh I don't think I'm worthy enough I don't think I I fit in here I don't think I'm the right person But God has such good things to say about you and your identity should be rooted in what Jesus has to say about you because he is the one who created you. Amen. Who knows you better than the creator? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That thought needs to sink into each and every one of us. He loves us so much and what he says about us is our identity. You can't go calling a door like a window. Because it's a door. Amen. Hallelujah. What God says about you is who you are. Amen hallelujah 
if some of us have like a hard time okay understanding or 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 believing that okay i'm holy or uh, i'm redeemed so these things we just have to pray to god we have to pray to god to reveal areas in our life where we feel like we feel like we are not who he says we are and we should pray and we should like come to terms with the fact that we are what god says we are hallelujah in ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 we read in him we were also chosen having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will in order that we who were the first to put our hope in christ might be for the praise of his glory that brings us to our purpose amen like just read the last part in order that we who were the first to put our hope in christ ephesians chapter 1 verse 12 that we who were first to put our hope in christ might be for the praise of his glory just like the purpose of that door what is our purpose in the house of god what is our purpose in the house that god is building in our church in what we've been given to do by god like are we faithful at our workplace at college in our schools maybe but yeah so are we are we like do we know that we have to glorify god in everything that we do we have to be excellent we are the children of god and we are ambassadors of christ hallelujah so whatever our hands find to do we should do it with the best of our abilities amen and that will glorify him when you do that you fulfill your purpose amen so it's just something that that is important you know so uh i think divya chachi already answered this but what do you think is very important for the door to function hinge yes the hinge is very very important and the hinge in our case is our faith of course Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 10 we read for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and and this not from yourselves it is the gift of god not by works so that one can boast for we are god's workmanship created in christ jesus to do good works which god prepared in advance as our way of life amen hallelujah so coming back to the question i asked at first what is in our hearts what are we hiding what's there behind the door like it like what exactly is there like you and i know each of us know but let me tell you one thing one very very important thing it does not matter whatever fear in your heart whatever depression whatever sadness whatever anxiety it doesn't matter i'll tell you why in revelation chapter 3 verse 20 let's read behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice and opens the door i will come in and dine with him and he with me amen hallelujah even if there's complete darkness in your heart what will happen to darkness when jesus steps in he is ready to step in any time it may not have been there before some people might have hurt us or something might have caused pain to us something bad would have happened something would be making you anxious but i'll tell you what it doesn't matter because jesus is ready to come in to change our lives amen i know this this message could be for especially people who are new to church or people but but even in our hearts as christians as seasoned people who are members of the church who who every day contribute there are certain things in our heart there are certain dark areas in our heart that we haven't completely surrendered that's the case with me <laughs> hallelujah so revelation 3 verse 20 clearly says behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice and opens the door i will come in and dine with him and he with me amen hallelujah when he comes in he will change your world upside down hallelujah but you should let him you should let him in don't keep the door locked just open the door let him in no matter what is inside 
doesn't really matter because darkness just flees in the presence of light there's no darkness in light absence of light is darkness hallelujah and when greater light steps in it's just going to be so bright every area of your life will be transformed amen hallelujah whatever pain we have in our hearts whatever whatever things that that you know are there like deep down in our hearts that we are that we have hidden from other people but god knows and he is ready to transform us he is ready to take us from glory to glory amen and today is just the day for that that is why i had so many confirmations about this message and we are all here listening to it all of us each and every one of us are chosen people hallelujah that's what the bible has that's what jesus has to say we are chosen we are blessed amen that identity should sink into each and every one of us let's close our eyes and pray jesus hallelujah father we thank you lord we thank you jesus that you have chosen us that you have covered us protected us father lord jesus you have poured out your spirit into our hearts into our lives father lord father we have been saved father lord jesus by you father lord enable us father lord jesus to walk in that surety father lord to identify ourselves deeper and deeper in you father lord completely rooted in you father lord jesus every area of our hearts father lord jesus that we've hidden from people that we've hidden from from people that they may judge us or that they may think ill of us father lord we surrender into your hands father lord who knows us better than you father lord jesus father for you knit us together in our mother's womb father lord and you love us with an everlasting love father lord whatever troubles we are going through whatever pain we are going through father we submit it into your mighty hands father lord for we know father lord that you are the potter father lord and we are the clay mold us and make us father lord jesus as your will father lord as per your will father lord you make us father lord enable us to be the city on a hill father lord jesus enable us to be the light and salt to this world wherever we are placed father lord empower us oh holy spirit fill us with a fresh anointing fill us with a fresh anointing hallelujah we thank you jesus for our purpose in this world is to glorify you and whatever our hands find to do father lord jesus we will do it to the best of our abilities and glorify you and magnify you jesus thank you jesus i just request divya chechi to sing shepherd of my soul before we close he is the good shepherd no matter in what way you are going through whether the path be crooked whether there be gates in front of you gates of bronze or iron he breaks it down the crooked path he goes in front of you and makes it straight hallelujah what no weapon can formed against us shall prosper no power of darkness shall prevail for for we serve a mighty god a miracle worker a way maker hallelujah we thank you jesus we thank you lord
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I request all of you to raise your hands wherever you are. Let's just pray. And thank you, Jesus, Father Lord Jesus. Father, wherever you may lead, Father Lord, we will go, Father Lord Jesus. Father, the plans that you have for us, Father Lord Jesus. Father, you know, Father Lord Jesus. Father, we pray that you hold our hands and lead us, Father Lord, in the way in which we should go, Father Lord Jesus. Cover us in your precious blood, Father Lord. Put your angels in charge of us to protect us, Father Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Father Lord, for this fresh anointing that you're pouring out upon us, Father Lord. Father, where two or three are gathered, Father Lord, there you are, Father Lord, and we believe, Father Lord, you are in our midst, Father Lord. And we thank you for this anointing that you are pouring out upon us, Father Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for you are mightily here in our, in our midst. And your presence is here, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Minister to us, Father Lord Jesus. Heal our hearts, Lord. Heal our minds, Father Lord Jesus. Father, we completely surrender all the pain, Father Lord, all the baggages that we carry, Father Lord. Empower us, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, that each and every one present here, Father Lord, that you give them a quiet heart, a calm heart, Father Lord, and then a heart that knows fully, Father Lord, that you are with them, that you will be there, Father Lord Jesus, no matter what they are going through. And we thank you for this fresh anointing, Father Lord. And even as we go in our lives, Father Lord Jesus, you are there with us. And you, we know, Father Lord Jesus, that you are always there by our side, Father Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We surrender our lives into your mighty hands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God, Church. Um, Cyril, that was uh, that was very, very powerful. Thank you.